Hi dear love, welcome, I'm Nicole, and this is our spiritual guidance for March 2018. This is a beautiful month because we start off learning how to detox, where we need to fast, what it is we need to abstain from. So if you have been saying, you know what, I need to start a new health routine. It is all about your day to day and improving the quality of your life, staying away from the toxicity, the drama. You don't have time for it in March. Around the 17th, you're going to apply that newfound self-love and you're going to pour your energy into unconditional love for self and others. You're also going to look in your closet and tell those skeletons it's time for them to leave. They can't come with you in your future. So you're going to see some hidden enemies surface and you're going to be dealing with some self-sabotaging, self-destructive behavior that really you are done with. You're not bringing it into your future. Let's begin by raising our vibration through a beautiful deep breath in. You ready? Challenge your human deep, deep, deep. Let it out. Spiritual guidance is for your sun, moon, rising, and cusp signs. And thank you for tuning in. Aries, we're going to start with you. I'm going to go ahead and pray for everyone. Divine Source, thank you so much. Heavenly Angels, thank you so much for being here. Heavenly Spirit Guides, thank you so much for being sent by the Most High. Thank you so much for blessing me to channel our spiritual guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so much for blessing the hearts and souls and families of our dear spiritual superstars. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Divine Source, thank you for thy heavenly blessings. Thank you so much. We are grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you for gifting us with abundance, knowledge, wisdom, courage, and strength, health, mind, body, soul. Thank you. So Aries, this energy is in your health and wellness. You're getting a rebirth. Rebirth. You're having a reboot. This is beautiful. So you're all about changing it up. You know, coming into March, Aries, you're, you know, looking at your health and wellness. You're looking at your routine. You're looking at your day-to-day. -day. Can you go to work um, differently? Like, you know, if, you, if you're normally going around 8.30, 9 o'clock, you're going to start going there on time. You're going to start leaving. Thank you so much. going to start going into a nice regimented routine that feels good to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Schooling. Study and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So Aries, if you've been guided to go back to school, here's your confirmation, taking a course. Get clearer on your life mission. Uh, take some e-courses, some workshops, self-educate. Because on the new moon, March 17th, this energy is in um, blasting away that sabotaging behavior, looking in that closet, getting those skeletons out, really deepening your spirituality. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And loving on yourself and others with unconditional love, showing compassion. Thank you so much. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance this month. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. Just what Spirit just told you. You're going to come in, march, knowing you've got to change that routine. It's your day-to-day. -day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you're really seeing, you know, some of you are just like, I'm not hanging out anymore. And some of you are getting very clear on whether or not you want to stay in your relationship. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So let's definitely ask. Because you've got this rebirth. You know, this is your energy, spring equinox. You're the pioneer. So you've got your energy coming in 
Tamara Jen, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Starting fresh. Transformation. You really are done with some things and even some people. And so you're really seeing what you can do to bring things back into balance. Learning each other, okay, in your relationship life. Ask the questions you, that are on your heart and soul. Don't hold back and fear the answer you may receive, which is not something that you often do. So this has to be something really serious there, and you don't want to hurt anybody. Showing your courage is showing your faith in divine source. Reach beyond the chemistry and let them show up for who they are in conversation and in behavior also. So here is your affirmation for the month of March. Thank you so much. Seeing, ooh, seeing where you can um, focus more on planning and not just going for it automatically, but having a um, more of a structured plan, I feel, coming into March. I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. That is absolutely where the full moon is on March 1st for you. And you're taking actions in your daily routine. All right, dear Aries, thank you so much. If I can be of assistance and you would like more detail for in a private reading, the links are down below. And remember, this is for your sun, moon, rising, and cusp signs. Hi, dear Taurus. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right. So you are being more vulnerable, being in touch with your truth in March. The You're coming into March uh, really understanding who is your true love. Um, are you meant to be? And also, what is your life mission? There's some questioning going on. And if you're not feeling loved and you're not feeling the romance, it's going to be felt pretty strong coming into March. So I feel like, you know, some of you Taurans are really going through trying to figure it out. Is this person the one you need to be with? You know, really kind of um, acquiescing and placating a little bit more than you should. Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. Okay, so there's some figuring it out for sure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The need to be vulnerable, I feel, is really your need to look past the chemistry. The new moon for you is really in innovation. It is in the group mentality and some changes in that. So if you have been really, you know, giving in and not honoring your own needs, but just giving in to um, even the job, your employer, your um, significant other, even your group of friends, um, and then, then kind of resenting it, Spirit is telling you that you don't have to do that. You're serving way too many people and to pull back and serve our creator. It's okay for you to be powerful. You're making these strong moves in your group association. And so where you're not able to buy into um, a mindset, a practice, an idea, a membership, you're really figuring out whether you can, you know, how to get out of it, I feel, how to make it work for you. And again, this is true love for you coming into March. So you're seeing where, you know, you've either waited too long and hung on to something that's not going to come around. You're really questioning whether or not uh, this person is meant for you and whether or not you're going to get married if you've been waiting for that. You know, you're wondering, wow, did I, am I with the wrong person? What's going on there? Am I ever going to be with my true love? That's really going to hit home starting in March. I am a guardian of Mother Earth, my dear Earth sign Taurus. And protect all who live on her. Look at you. Nice. So you've got 34 here. And that is building that new foundation. Being blessed by every direction. All of your angels. And you're going in the right direction when you're being vulnerable. When you are really, you know, being okay with how you feel. 
and it's okay for you to be your powerful self. Okay, so you are questioning whether or not this one is for you. And you could be the third party. There could be someone else that is interfering. Could be a family, a friend, overstepping their boundaries. But you definitely know who that is. And you know that if you're sabotaging as well, that's something that has surfaced before, I feel. Right now, Spirit is telling you in March, you're really taking the action to make some serious changes. Okay? Thank you so much, dear Taurus. Please like, comment, subscribe. Remember that this is for your sun, moon, rising, and cusp signs. And if I could be of any further assistance, please do look into a private reading, and the links will be down below. Take great care. Love you. Mwah. Hi, dear Gemini. So, you know what? You come into March with uh, some things behind the scenes going on. In your home this oh my goodness okay so there's some stuff that's been going on um, if it's domestic violence you know to get out of it but there's some stuff that um, you're either trying to go get help support you are really um, this is about your family this is about your home this is also the land and property that you're on also deals with mother and father uh, so those things are coming to a head. If there's disagreement with your mother, your father, um, if you are the mother, father, could be the other people in your home, in your family, but there's some um, volatile energy there. And towards the new moon on the 17th, dear Gemini, this is a great time to start new career ventures. This is a great time to really figure out if those things that are happening in your home, that volatile situation or that hardship or that angry type of energy, energy, how is it affecting your image? How are people viewing you? How are people seeing um, as you all venture out into, you know, your environment, your community? How are you being received? How do you want to be received? Okay. Yeah, there's healing that needs to happen. So you're looking at... Uh, whatever's going on behind closed doors and you're viewing um, it from another perspective you're seeing um, how other people are really living that experience friends family if you're roommating could be friends you know um, thank you so much thank you so much I feel like that one wants to come on out okay so listen to your music there's healing that absolutely has to happen this month Okay, and put your earbuds on. Definitely zone out and to zone back in to what Divine Source is telling you. Meditate. Definitely go for those walks. Talk to your ancestors. That's where your energy is the beginning of March, okay? Absolutely be out in nature as often as you can and just listen. Be out there by yourself as often as you can. Wow! Taurus, I think, just got this one. I am a guardian of Mother Earth and protect all who live on her. So whether Taurus is even your sun, moon, rising, view Taurus because that is the sign before yours. And you both got um, Mother Earth energy. And this is Mother Earth energy also for um, the full moon, that detox. So you are detoxing. Remember our intro from that um, volatile energy that is happening in your home life. It's happening in your personal relationships. It's happening in the relationships that you do not share with everybody and that you close the door and you want that privacy. So don't dull your shine. That stuff that's going on, the abuse, okay? Spirit is showing you that there are resources out there um, that you don't have to settle to be with someone that you are unhappy with that there's no reason for you to be with someone who can't commit to you. There's a love triangle going on. I can see the triangle over here and I can see it ringing. Um, and so definitely I feel like you're settling. I can see someone laying on the, sitting on the side of their bed crying, looking over at this couple and they're not even paying attention to you. I feel like that is someone that you're seeing and they are, you know, you know that they're seeing someone else and you're just kind of settling into that. Spirit saying, do not dull your shine. 
Share the love of the Most Divine and speak the very love you are gifted with through your moments of uh, solace. Be proud of yourself and take time to smile at how far you've come and just where you are going. Gemini, the new moon is in your career. So put your energy into your life mission, your career, building your um, financial income and looking into your public image. If you want to uh, raise a promotion, this energy is beautiful for that. If you really want to be married, your public image is going to be ready to have an overhaul. Definitely make those changes to change it. If you don't want to be single anymore, you don't have to be. If you don't want to be married and unhappy in a loveless relationship, you don't have to be. So Spirit's going to be showing you all of that and the choice is really always yours. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Hi, dear Cancer. So, you know, you come into March communicating, marketing, um, advertising, working with children. Definitely listen to what they have to say. The babies are talking and they are blessing you with stuff that's going to help your career track. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Networking. Definitely, if you're online, um, and you're visible, this is that time, honey, blessings are on the horizon for you. Definitely work in um, a space that pulls you out into, in front of people, talking with people, going to the networking events. Um, definitely hang out with your nieces and nephews, cousins, the young people, because they're talking about stuff that you really want to um, hold on to because it's going to affect your business in a beautiful way. You are absolutely applying that information and then on the 17th, you are acting on that opportunity. The new moon for you is an adventurous um, energy. It is changing your philosophy. It's travel. And uh, so beginning in March, you know, get out in your community. Please network because then you're going to be really making some solid moves um, towards the new moon based on the connections that you make in the beginning of March. And those moves can very well be country to country um, across the globe. So use social media, use technology like you've never used it before to get your business ideas out there and focus. Spend time alone, meditate so that you can get this to a pinpoint. Ask your angels for help. This energy is there for you to be successful, okay? You got that opportunity coming to you, dear Cancer. Don't, don't give it to someone else. That's what I'm seeing. Don't give it to someone else. This is a beautiful uh, financial opportunity, I feel. And I feel like you already have been moving in that direction, just haven't known exactly which way to go. Don't fear it. Also, in love, listen to the wisdom of your heart. Spirit is asking you to ask yourself this question. What are you in fear of letting go? Self-fulfilling prophecies can manifest, dear Cancer. And you are one of those energies that knows that through and through. Divine Source is reminding you to listen to your heart your intuition and deepen your faith. So if you're needing to let go of somebody in your love life or letting go of a perspective and a mindset, you're, you're changing that mindset, you're letting go of ideals, beliefs, honey, it's going to happen on the 17th on that new moon if you pour your energy into it. Your energy is blessed in that way and you've got blessings right here showing up so they're right there on the horizon spend your time alone escape tell people i can't go right now or i just need my me time take it because that's when your ancestors are coming to talk to you okay so you're getting up early i celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun all right you're getting up early talk to your ancestors get out go for your walks if you normally are a night owl and you sleep late please Definitely try to switch it up towards the full moon and the new moon. The moon is your ruling planet, so you're going to feel this energy like 
no one else you know it's gonna you're gonna feel it like like never before like last month and the month before <laughs> but you're just gonna feel it really really big okay because wherever the moon is whatever the moon's doing you feel it so pay attention to that absolutely oh wow cancer i'm excited for you this is beautiful please like comment and subscribe and share and i will see you very soon thank you Mwah. love you hi dear leo so you come into march um it's all about your values your standards oh your requirements in relationship in the job oh my gosh blessings you view cancer cancer just got this this is a sign before yours and then gemini got something that taurus got so this is flowing through the charts oh my gosh this is beautiful make sure you view your sun moon rising and cusp signs and view Gemini, even if it's not part of your, your birth chart energy, okay? Blessings are pouring in your value system. And then on the 17th, you're going to be applying what information came to you of what you deserve and pay, salary, and relationship. Instead of just sitting there waiting for someone to leave and walk out of your life, you're going to say, you know what? I don't need this. And you need to leave. or I need to leave and you're going to start making those changes because your value is in your eyeballs coming into March and where you're not getting paid enough money where you're putting in you know um, you wrote that book and you're not getting back the uh, feedback that you want they're not valuing what you wrote they're not valuing your insight they're not valuing the program you created they're not valuing um, what you do for the job you're gonna start looking into other ways to get those benefits and it might be in um, the form of another employer so you're going to have those benefits coming to you around the 17th that's other people's money so check it out trust that you've laid that foundation okay so any rocky roads don't you dare give up you can get through this but it's you taking that charge i feel i don't feel like you're letting that energy happen to you anymore and expecting your blessings to come in this is taking action thank you so much oh my goodness you got archangel Raphael, the angel of healing you know that's his name is he who heals or he who god heals okay i am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others you are a healer like me how beautiful is that to receive that's beautiful 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 right so you've got your blessings know that you have all the resources um, to get through those rough moments and when you get turned down and when you're saying you know what you know I'm tired of being single or you know I've been single for a while and uh, you know I don't want to do it or I do want to do it or you know you're in a relationship and you're just tired of it or you're ready to up level your relationship either way honey you've got what it takes for you to go ahead and do that commit to your value and then apply it around the 17th okay so you're going for that escape get that me time okay get that me time go on a, a couple retreat vacation we can get away a drive a walk coupled up spend quality time together go on vacation at home leave everyone else behind excuse me and retreat within remember your vows your commitments and your purpose leave the stressors and love on each other in the moment if you're single you deserve a, tr a retreat a vacation a spa bath a massage pamper yourself and don't wait for someone else to do it for you or go with you on that cruise on that getaway treat yourself lovely because you of all energies knows that you deserve that thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much and so Dear Leo, yeah, you're being given too towards the uh, 17th and let it happen. You know, where you're standing up for yourself, 
coming into March and you're saying, hey, you know, I don't deserve this. Remember, your values, your standards are on the line and you're not afraid to talk about it, not afraid to show it. And uh, people are going to be receiving you as such, as your valuable, precious king and queen self. And they're going to start making some changes. You're going to see that. So receive it. Receive it, whether it's overtime, whether it is that new book deal, whether it is um, they've accepted your, they're, they're ready to sign on the dotted line, whatever it is, uh, more benefits or more um, uh, whatever it is. Okay, support, help. Um, you know, someone may be willing to babysit for you from, for free, but whatever it is, they might be volunteering for you to help you in your business. Okay. But you are working on your sacral chakra. I feel comfortable in my own body and I'm sensitive to other people's feelings. All right. So honor your emotions and your feelings this month. Dear Leo, thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if I can do anything else for you, I've got a tickle on the back of my back. That is Archangel Raphael. He gives me a tickle. So watch out for that because you'll feel it too this month. Let me know. The links are down below. Love you. I'll see you soon. Hi, dear Virgo. This is your full moon. Honey, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what spirit has to say for you. All right, you're vulnerable. Things are upside down. So there's some hard work that you're going to be putting in. It's all good because you've already laid the foundation, I feel. When, when there is a breach, anything, there's a break. So you might be needing to just sit back for a little while. Be patient. Let things unfold. You know, you know, you got to have that quiet before the blessings roll in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let the sun warm your face. Oh, goodness, you got them just flying out. Thank you so much. Okay, yes, you're going to pause for a minute. You are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Don't do it on your own. Those thoughts are coming around. Is Mercury going retrograde this month? I have to look. So, and that's your ruling planet. And you know that when Mercury goes retrograde, pause, rewind, ask for help, share, take a moment, paraphrase, ask for understanding, support, okay? Don't do it on your own because you will make those mistakes that you regret and, and spirit doesn't want you to do that, okay? You've been coming so far, come a long way. You're a researcher. You know all of this. So take your time, but don't hold back and keep information to yourself because you want to be able to apply it. So tell people, you know what? I need help with this. Can you tell me your thoughts? Let them talk. Don't interfere. Okay, don't interrupt. Just listen, receive it, think about it, then respond, then act, okay? Okay. Look at that. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. So get their feedback, but then act on it. Okay, act on it. You gotta, you gotta wait. All right, you gotta wait. You gotta know how this energy also is affecting other people. And then spirit is telling you, it's look at this, then it's okay for you to, and I feel like because that one wanted to come out and I had, well, that one definitely is the one, next one, um, that you're really going to need to know how, how other people are taking the same information and come into agreement or not. And so that way you'll know exactly how to proceed. It won't be based on what you feel. It'll be based on what they feel. So you've got learning each other and you've got children involved. So that's a big reason to pause, hold on, do your research, see where you stand, um, child support, uh, watching the children, co-parenting, having children. Is this the right person to have children with? Um, just having um, them go over and spend the night over people's homes. That's a big, big deal. Um, 
you know, having other children over, whatever the case is, knowing which one is the right babysitter, the right school, everything. Children are at the center of your intimate life. So whoever you're dating, whoever you're with, remember that you're their advocate. So it's important for you to choose someone that wants children, will be a great parent, and you must speak as their advocate while speaking your own truth. All right, so you're really taking a stand here for the babies. You've got them in mind and ask the questions that are on your heart and soul. So this is really speaking toward to Virgos that are dating, that have children or that want children. Don't hold back and fear the answer you may receive. Showing your courage is showing your faith in divine source. Reach beyond the chemistry and let them show you who they are in behavior and in conversation, dear Virgo. Okay, let them show you who they are. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. If there's anything that I can do for you, the links will be down below. Thank you. Mwah. I love you. Hi, dear Libra. So you are coming into March, really deepening your spirituality and really looking at those skeletons in the closet. There may be some hidden enemies that come out, but you know, you're, you're really rearranging how you're dealing with that. You know, how you figure out whether or not you're rearranging how you put that two and two together, you know, where you might have been ignoring it before. Also, understanding how you're sabotaging yourself, where you might be um, really, you know, like being all in and wanting to help and, and serve and be your loving, beautiful self, but then be overwhelmed. And so I feel like, you know, with synergy coming in, you're starting to see things that have always been there behaviors from other people, behaviors from you, sabotaging, and um, things like that, behavior that you are now seeing it because the veil has been removed. Because then I feel around the 17th, you're, you're taking all of that and you're applying it, you're synthesizing it. So you are putting two and two together and then you are changing your routine, you're changing behavior and um, you know this is really in a way to improve the quality of your life overall. This is very much in whatever you're doing on a daily basis. So if you're going to school, if you are going to a job, if you're working for yourself, if you are seeing a particular person every day there's some energies there where you're going to say, you know what, I'm starting to see, you know, you differently, or I'm starting to see things differently. So definitely create that sacred space, a place in your, your job, in your work environment, if you work from home, in that space. Um, but, you know, that's just really for you and our creator to have that connection kind of like an altar, but very much having that, I really feel it's, it's, I see someone going around the block. I see you walking around the block. So I just feel like you're having that moment with divine source and you're not, <clears throat> excuse me, you're not in conversation with someone else. So meditation, really having that time to pull back, escape, because I really feel like your mindset is changing. And you're looking at sabotaging behavior and self-destructive behavior too. Spirit is telling you it's safe for you to be your powerful self. And you know how to do that, but I just feel like there's been so many, you know, moments of you wanting to have this person in your life that you have been really bending over backwards and you're starting to see where you don't have to do that. Also in your job where you're just taking on so much responsibility and obligation that really doesn't have to be yours. And I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, pull back and uh, honor the space that I'm, I have you in because I need to start talking to you. 
Yeah, your energy is so there, beginning March. Really having those, deepening your spirituality. Really, your sacred space. Um, having that, that altar of just, where you can just pray, even if it's at your desk. That's your sacred space. Just a corner on your desk. A space where no one touches. And it's just, you know, get three things for building your foundation and um, place them there that no one's going to touch. No one has permission to touch. It could be a crystal, could be a clear a clear quartz to help open your connection with divine source. Could be lavender. You've got your see your, your, your opening. Okay, spirit wants you to see some things, Libra. And there are going to be some things that are that are revealed to you for the first time. And some things are going to be revealed to you for the first time in a long time. Okay. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. Exactly what spirit just told me to tell you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's safe. Whoa. What's coming out? Oh my gosh. This has come out back to back. Wow. Ask the questions on your heart and soul. Don't hold back and fear the answer you may receive. Showing your courage is showing your faith in divine source. Reach beyond the chemistry and let them show up for who they are in conversation and behavior. Thank you so much, dear Libra. If there's anything else I can do for you, the links are down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share. And I'll see you soon. Mwah. Hi, dear Scorpio. So you come into March, you know, really about it's all about your hopes your wishes oh and your dreams and i really feel like you know wherever you've been thinking okay i think i need to be doing this i think this will work i've been really focusing on this i've been trying to get my um patent and i've been trying to figure out with who to um approach about being a silent partner business uh venture capital all of that financing all of that. Whoa, who just flipped? You've got two that flipped. It's all about that change that's happening. And so networking, thinking about the whole group and not just self right now. It's coming to fruition. It's a, You're unfolding. Your, your career projects are unfolding. Insight in your love life is, is coming to a head. You are growing. And it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The winds of time. Jupiter is in your sign until November of this year. So grab hold of each opportunity, you know, and, and don't let it go. Because on the new moon, this is about your life mission. This is about your true love. So you're making changes. You're stepping forward in the face of true love, spiritual love. Your twin flame, your soul mate. You've been called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. This next big thing, the project that you're working on. It absolutely is what you should be. Pouring your energy into. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Scorpio. Coming into March, team oriented, thinking about family, thinking about what you can't buy into. If you're a member of some organization, a group, even your friends, if you don't, you can't buy into the overall um, temperature of what's going on. If you can't buy into um, even a fee, a membership fee, if you can't get with the climate of Wherever you're affiliated with, you're not going to go there. You're not going to, you're going to pull away. You're going to say, you know what? Well, I, it's time for me to cancel my account. It's time for me to go in a different direction. And that is this energy. You're unfolding. You know that you're in a spiritual awakening. Now, don't question it. Okay, listen. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further, okay? Okay. So you can't buy into something and it's really rubbing against you. It's creating an inner outer conflict within yourself. Look deeper. 
You don't, you're not a follower. You never have been. But now, Spirit is really telling you, don't placate. Don't acquiesce in love and money. In your career life and in your love life and your personal life, it's all affected. So definitely speak up for yourself. Trust the most high. May seem kind of funny, you know, right now, kind of off. You may feel like all hope is lost. But it's not. Spirit is in front of you, pulling you closer to your soul's desire. And honey, that is the full moon for you, March 1st. Your hopes, your wishes, and your dreams coming to fruition and detoxing what from what um, no longer serves you as a, as a dream, as something you want to manifest. So call out and thank the Most High, okay? Call out in prayer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much because... On the 17th, for you, I don't feel that. Honey, you're making big changes where it comes to whether you're feeling romanced, hanging with children, spending more time with children, outdoors, um, sporting activities, just being, you know, in the moment of fun and being adored. And this is true love. I allow my body, mind, and spirit to flow intuitively through the changes in life. You got karma coming up this month. Okay, so you're in your element, the water element. Thank you so much, dear Scorpio. If there's anything else that I can do for you, please don't hesitate to, to let me know. The links are down below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And honey, I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Hi, dear Sagittarians. You, oh, you've got some changes happening in your career, in your public, the public eye and where you're visible and where you're not feeling it, there's going to be some changes happening, showing your compassion where you're not feeling that coming to you. It could be making some changes in your home, be whatever's going on behind closed doors, there's some new beginnings, uh, some new behaviors, some new way of doing things around the 17th for you and this can be in a relationship with any family member it can be a lover it can be um, children parents siblings okay it can be grandparents it can be whatever you know and your ancestors are going to be reaching out to your ancestors I feel like I just kind of rushed that word your ancestors are going to be reaching out to you around the 17th that's going to be really big. So be out in nature as often as you can. Woo! Your land, if you're selling or buying, this is a good time for you to acquire property and to get a good return on your investment and to get a good um, um, selling price. Let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times with the spirit of the zebra this month. So you're shape-shifting, and you are trying it on for size. There are some changes happening in your public eye, in the public eye for you. So in your reputation, your public image, your visibility. So uh, this is absolutely career-oriented, but, it but it's also um, love. Whoa! Scorpio just got this. This has been happening throughout the whole, um, every sign up to your sign has been pulling from the, the sign prior to. So that's big. That's an energy that's flowing all the way through. So this is going to be hitting really hard. So make sure that you are taking heed. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. So whatever business ideas, whatever love decisions you've got to make for yourself, wait and Remember, you're not acting out of fear, okay, with the spirit of the zebra. Try it on for size. Practice. See how you're going to feel about it once that decision is final. Show compassion. Look at it from their perspective as well. That's going to really serve you um, very well this month, okay? Thank you so much. But your view on the world is changing. And it's coming up, whether you want that promotion, whether you want to be in the public eye, okay? And just how public you want to be. Spirit is showing you don't fear it. If Spirit is telling you to be more transparent in your work, 
then that's what spirit is pulling you to do and just try it out get in the mirror you've got shape shifting here and that's when our clouds take on a different shape that we recognize we're familiar with it so become familiar with your new self by practicing oh my gosh this came out too and you've got fear here twice spirit is asking you to ask yourself this question what are you in fear of letting go of self-fulfilling prophecies can manifest dear Sagittarius so source is reminding you to listen to your intuition and deepen your faith right now okay deepen your faith you're not going to react out on fear you are going to take action because you are a leader thank you so much and I really feel this is in your home this is in domestic relationships thank you so much and this is also making that decision um, don't just take the first offer in your home um, purchasing or selling and if you are a realtor if you're you know doing anything with property or land surveying um, investor wait and then listen to your spiritual guidance and then move forward okay but oh my gosh this came out too for Scorpio the sign before yours that's amazing both of these came out so honey take heed this is this is really big I allow my body mind and spirit to flow intuitively through the changes in life remember to view your sun moon rising and cusp signs okay dear Sagittarius when you see this energy flowing from sign to sign that means that it's coming in so hard that it's not gonna stop just you know for one energy it's it's a major winds of change if there's anything else that I can do for you please don't hesitate to reach out to me the links will be down below please like comment subscribe and share and honey I'll see you soon Mwah. hi Capricorn so you come into March and it's all about adventure long-distance travel where you haven't been having enough of it whether you need to tighten down and you know uh, tighten the, the purse strings on your budget and uh, you've got release here okay what's coming to a close what's changing and on the 17th where you, you well you come into March with um, long-distance travel and a wider perspective love of culture of um, community at large okay changing your philosophy your mindset is changing your ideals your ideas but then on March 17th you are able to really bring that on home closer into your community so you might be um, you know really broadening your networking and um, really seeking out from your long distance travels who you you know reach out to people and they're going to be giving you information that will help you let's say that you're a teacher and you've traveled to Egypt and so you get in touch with these people towards the beginning of March or you may even travel you know overseas and you're living in the United States and you you know hit them up and say how have you been doing or they send you an email they send you some information check this out and you're able to apply it in um, your own classroom you know and kind of make that change in in creating a new classroom environment more community that is culturally loving that is more diversified or loving of diversity uh, but yeah you are all about also um, making changes in the way you communicate around the 17th and I really feel it's because of your interaction with um, someone that's outside of your ethnicity outside of your um, country some information you've come across it may be a documentary about um, travel or in a, a, a distant land that you want to go to and it really does something to you and it triggers a huge change that you're going to make around the 17th and you absolutely should okay because your dreams are coming into fruition keep it up thank you so much dear cappies 
you know, Saturn is your ruling planet. That's the, that's the taskmaster. Saturn is back home with you and asking you to do it right. And you're on board. And so bringing it on home and making these changes uh, in your community, you might be opening up a brick and mortar. You might decide that, you know what, I'm, I'm going to get on Google and I'm going to put my address out there so that I can start uh, allowing my community to patronize me and service my community. Where, you know, before maybe it was just all out into the World Wide Web and you wanted to stay closed off to your community. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what you feel is right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others, dear Capricorn. People aren't always going to like what you have to say. People aren't going to like what you have to do. But you're going to do it for you. And you know what to do. And you are very successful. So you're having to release and let go of some people, some things, some mindsets, some practices. And that's good because you're blessed to do that on March 1st. That's absolutely where the full moon is for you. At the end of the day, you're going to find peace in nature and rest your mind, your body, and your spirit in order to connect with Divine Source. Okay? At the end of the day, you've got that amazing release and rest. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Communicate your truth. Oh my gosh! This has come out Throughout, I don't know, maybe four or five energies have gotten this. Express your truth in relationship. Not everyone's going to like it. Ask the questions that are on your heart and soul. Don't hold back and fear the answer you may receive. Showing your courage is showing your faith in divine source. Reach beyond the chemistry and let them show up for who they are in conversation and in behavior. Remember, you're taking a stand for what you believe in. Well, dear Cappies, thank you so much. If there's something else I can do for you, if you'd like further detail, please reach out to me. The links are down below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And honey, I'll see you soon. Love you. Mwah. Hi, Aquarius. So you come in to March. People are giving to you. You're receiving. I feel like that one. You're receiving, and you had to go through the storm in order to get here, okay? But there's going to be some more tests. When you breach, there's a conflict. There's a struggle there. But you've got to also look at this as, I'm going to lay back, and I'm going to let Divine Source warm my heart and soul, and I'm just going to float for a minute. I'm going to coast. So where you need to escape and pull back, then do that, because let them give to you. Go like this. You don't have to give in the beginning. You've given enough. It's time for you to receive. Okay? Now, you just step back. Let it be about you now. You're always about someone else. Always about the group. Now the group is giving to you. Then on the 17th, it's about your value, your standards, your boundaries. It's about the money you earn. So where you might be getting a payout, you might be getting, a, you know, a lottery winning uh, towards the beginning, March 1st. And then you're starting to see, you know, around the 17th, um, about the money that you earn and about the value that you bring. Starting to look at yourself a little different, right? Isn't that what just Spirit just said? Taking t it's time to take care of yourself now. You're going to pull back. It's time. It's time. You just had our beautiful partial solar eclipse. It was in your energy. You blessed all of us. Now the universe is saying, you deserve to get blessed. You just sit back and let all of us bless you because you blessed us magnanimously. Okay. So then you're going to really be looking at that. Make those changes. 
Okay, how do you value yourself? How do you need to be valued? How do you want to be pampered? How are you going to do that for yourself? Stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. Boy, when spirit talks, right? Spirit is on you. So, that's what you're going to be doing this month. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Look at that. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs. Okay, who is this that hit me like that? <laughs> but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. You know why? You're a spark of divine. Oh my gosh. I reignite the divine spark within me and recognize I am a part of all creation. You are so blessed. Dear Aquarius, you are so cared for. Allow everybody to care for you. You don't have to direct anything. Just be given to this month. Receive support, help, um, volunteering, um, being paid, taken out for lunch. No, 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 I got it. Don't tell them, no, 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 I got it. No, be taken care of. For a change. Step back. You feel sick? Let them know that you need some soup. Can you stop at the store and get me such and such? Oh, if you just come over, I would just like to, I would just love to be in your arms. Speak up and share what you need. Because, honey, chances are you're going to get it. Okay? Pay attention to the signs to talk about you. <laughs> Spirit is talking about you, okay? I feel these to be red flags within your own behavior. Pay attention to the signs, body language, phone calls, communication of all kinds. Listen to what is not being said. Pray and commune with the Most High and be open to your spiritual guidance from your spirit guides. There are areas in relationship that will surface later as they are areas familiar to you from your past experiences okay so please like comment subscribe and share dear Aquarius thank you so much honey I love you and if there's anything else that I can do for you the links will be down below Mwah. hi dear Pisces so guess what you come into March and it's all about your relationships. It's about marriage. It's about business partnerships. And honey, where you're not being satisfied and it's self-sabotage, destructive energy, or where you feel like you might need a release and escape from uh, your partner, just it might just be a time out time. That's going to be coming up. If, you, if you've been um, single for a while, you might decide that, you know what, this isn't, um, what I want. I want to be in, excuse me dear Pisces, I want to be in a relationship. So those changes are coming in and it's it's a pull. Look how far you've traveled over the mountains, through the woods, through around this icy water. You're, you're going on an instinct. You intu intuitively know that there's something greater. You intuitively know the changes that have to be made. And on your new moon, you're making them. It's all about you. It is self-awareness. It is what you need. It is I am energy. And you're okay with making those changes. And guess what? Your love life. You've got the angel of marriage assisting you. And this is an energy that wants you to go back to the beginning. Go back to how you were raised. What did you learn about marriage? How did you learn about marriage and relationship? Go back to your first encounters with another in a romantic relationship. Go through subsequent relationships. Go to your ex. What happened in those relationships? What did you learn about yourself? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Those changes are happening also in business. Did you learn that, you know, you don't really need to be with certain business partners? Or did you learn that you're a lot smarter than you gave yourself credit? You know, 
this is really your transformation. And honey, you look beautiful this month. Don't feel bad. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, I just heard a loud now. All right. Okay, so you're too fragmented. And when you feel ungrounded, do whatever it takes to get grounded, okay? So that energy is causing you, it's calling for you to reflect. Anyone that coaches with me, you know reflection is major. It is non-negotiable. It's because it's such a powerful um, practice. So please reflect. Don't give yourself any more energy to reflect than 15 minutes. Start off really short, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, stop. You know why? Because we're human. And the human conditioning um, causes us to overthink things and to beat ourselves up, be hard on ourselves, where we're trying to really develop ourselves. You know, we don't need to judge ourselves any more than we already have and any more than society is, you know. So 15 minutes tops of reflection of what you're learning about relationship, in particular marriage, romantic partnership. So, Spirit is telling you, go have fun together. Shake things up. Be spontaneous. Spontaneity is needed now. So, shake things up. Do something fun, safe, yet exciting just for the fun of it. Go laugh. Recapture your youth, your zest for life, and your love for each other, your inner child. Do whatever gives you that loving, joyful, blissful feeling, magical moments are meant to be shared with another and even if you are single explore your options and recapture your zest for life so absolutely move on it when spirit tells you yeah go ahead and go go to the bumper car ride you know go check it out go uh to that little booth and take pictures you know take funny pictures where you're you're feeling like oh, i'm too old for that no you're not Okay, honor your third eye. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. This is your new moon. It's all about you, your growth, your spirituality. It's about how you view your, your surroundings. And this is really giving you an energy that's bringing you that much more grounded to this earth. Honey, we know, we know Pisces energy is not intuitively, instinctively grounded to Mother Earth. You are above the world. You are above Mother Earth. You hover right above Mother Earth. And so it's very hard for you to feel connected and grounded. So Spirit's asking you to absolutely do that through meditation, walking meditation. And um, we've got some beautiful grounding um, techniques in our blog at INeedSpiritualGuidance.com. If there's anything else I can do for you, dear Pisces, please reach out to me. Love you, honey. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you soon. Mwah.